Hello team, it's Rich here from Serious Cricket and I'm going to give you my top two tips for batting. Team, it's time to get a little bit more serious. So top two tips for batting could encapsulate pretty much anything. But these are the two thoughts that came straight into my head pretty much every time a batter comes to talk to me about their batting, or in particular, when I was asked to write a blog about this. And by the way, we've linked it in the description below. Have a read. So the two tips are really obvious. And I suppose because they're obvious, it was slightly complex. The first one is watch the ball. The second one is hit the ball with a full bat face as often as you can. Both sound really simple. Both are quite difficult to do. And we're gonna run through it right now with some little thoughts and ideas. Top tip number one was watching the ball onto the bat. So, sounds simple. Little thought behind this. Often people come in and they talk about, oh, I've, I've nicked, I'm getting out caught behind or I'm missing the ball. Um, I'm getting LBW, kind of those things. Um, and I suppose the first thing I do is we check the obvious and the basic setup bits, but then the watching the ball comes into it. So I just put the ball in the machine and let batters hit the ball front foot, that sort of stuff, have fun, enjoy themselves. And then we start to talk about, well, okay, when do you start to watch the ball? And often people will say, oh yeah, I'll watch it out of the bowler's hand. Okay, cool. Bang. Right, this time, did you watch it when it was halfway down? So how far down did the ball get before you sort of lost sight of it? And then often people will say, well, I lose sight of it when the ball bounces. And that's usually quite a good clue because as the bat then comes through, you're missing out on maybe a good foot, two feet's worth of movement. Um, and whilst the cues are, are there for us as batters, we kind of know where the ball will be, we need to be a little bit more precise. So, a little practice that I have worked on, basically I've stolen it, from a fellow called Timothy Galway and his book, The Inner Game of Tennis. If you're a player or a coach, have a read of the book. There's lots of really good, philosophical insights into coaching and how he goes about it, but in particular, how he then goes on and teaches tennis. And you're wondering why I'm rambling on about this? Well, I'll tell you. <gasps> we both hit an object. And one of the things he gets his players to do is, I think he calls it bounce hit. So that when the ball bounces, they have to say bounce, and when they hit it, they have to say hit. Well, I thought as cricketers, I'd try this maybe a slightly different way around. Sometimes I've said bounce with my coaching, but I don't often say that one or ask pupils to look at that. But I do look at or want them to look at and say the word hit when they hit it. Sounds really easy. I'm about to make it look really difficult. So please listen up. Tell me if I get it wrong, will you? Won't you? Oh, go on then. Okay. Hit. Oh, I would think I was all right there. Hit. 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 Now, I reckon I was a smidge early on a couple, but I'm hoping that you're gonna see from our wonderful camera angles that I've really watched that ball all the way onto the bat. Now you can do that in a net session. You don't have to say the word hit out loud. You can just do it quietly. You could do it before a match, somebody giving you some little underarms and you just hit the ball. What I'd say with this is it's just enjoy the process of hitting the ball. That's what you're there to do as a batter. Just enjoy hitting the ball, but get really good at it. And that's a great way to do it. Tip number two is full bat face and presenting that to the ball for every shot we can possibly think of. That's it. Sounds easy, again, but actually is really difficult because you've got lots of different shots. 
So as a batter, you'll find that we have different grips, we have different stances, we go in all sorts of funky positions, we finish in some different places. We all look a bit different and actually some of that is okay, some of that is unhelpful and part of picking through that, that's my job isn't it? That's what we're here to do as coaches, help batters along. So one of the most important things for me is if a batter comes to me and says I'm not really striking it very hard or not very well, I don't seem to be really getting many fours or threes or you know hitting it solidly, what do you think? This is my first portal call. Um, I kind of go here quite regularly with my coaching. So what am I looking for? So I'm really looking, so for my front foot shots, which we're gonna have a go at here, I've just put some cones down. Um, you'll be able to see, not in the camera in front, but from the camera behind. It's probably not my best angle, but it's okay. But you'll get a little idea of where my bat face is pointing and where my bat face goes post contact as well. My aim is to get the ball to go to these colored cones. So these are the front foot shots. Come on, let's have a go. So I've gone yellow there and worked really hard to get that to yellow. Oh, Ooh, I've tried really hard to get that one to go to white. I don't think I quite got there, but I'll, I will at some point. Oh, that's a red one, nearly. Oh, there we go. That was a good red one. Well done, me. Oh, a little bit yellow. That one moved a smidge at the last minute. Bosh! Straight to blue. Now, what I've tried to do is to be realistic with the line that the ball came down and then played that shot according to the line and then hit it to the colour according to the line of the ball. Because really, that's what we do when we bat and we play a game. Again, you can get somebody doing some throwdowns, sidearm, bowling machines even, little underarms before a game. So you've got lots of, of practice options there that you can use. And all you're looking to do is just make sure wherever the ball goes, your bat face is pointing to those zones. Now, you're saying to me, Rich, but I play other shots. Yes, I know you do. But the principle is the same. Vertical bats, horizontal bat shots, your pulls, your sweeps, your cuts, your back foot forcing shots, are still looking to have that full bat face on contact. I forgot your reverse sweep too, didn't I? So you, even though you're playing lots of different shots at contact and at your contact point, a full bat face. Okay, cool. Team, they're my two tips that I use most often. I put money, I'm gonna use them this afternoon when I coach. And I'll tell you now, hand on heart, I used them last night when I coached too. I hope you find them useful. I hope they give you some good practice ideas and maybe really make your practice a little bit more specific for you to get a bit more out of it. If you liked our video, which of course you did, he says slightly hesitantly, give us a bit of a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, write a comment below. You know the jazz, you know the deal. We look forward to seeing you soon. Get out there, score some runs, go well. Thank you.